All right, how's our audio really quick? Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Fallout 4. You didn't expect me to be here, huh? Or you probably did. I don't know. Somebody must have. But, uh, yeah, I just got done playing Fallout New Vegas recently. There's still some stuff I want to do in that, but until I find the motivation to do that, I want to try out Fallout 4. I want to see if it's good. I want to see if I can grab all the weapons and the armor and do my collection shit like I did when I was in Fallout 3 or when I was in Fallout New Vegas so I'm not playing Fallout 3 yet I'm not sure I even will um, just because it's way slower paced than New Vegas is yeah I'll play Fallout 4 I'll try it out see if I like it so without further ado here's a Fallout New Vegas entrepreneur I guess playing Fallout 4 for the first time Where are my subtitles at? I asked for subtitles. Oh, are there just no subtitles in the main in the fucking main event?
War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Alright, um, I'm not really gonna change anything. I kinda like these faces. These are some nice faces. Extras, though. Do I wanna add any extras? Freckle. No, no freckles. No moles. That's weird. Blemishes. I feel like they already did a good job. Damn. Left long. What is left long? Hmm. Center burn. Hmm. You can get Joker smile? Oh shit. Oh, I get the the Oh. Very strapping. The wife beats me pack. Okay. I mean, that scar is kind of weird, but I feel like it's fine. Okay. Face. No. Body. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to change anything. Okay. Now, I know these characters have an official name, Nate and Nora. So I think I'm going to just stick with that. Hun. I'm hurrying up. Don't worry. Okay. Alright, so we don't start out in a vault like we do with 3, and we don't start out in Good Springs like we do with New Vegas. We're in a house. We're in a nice little house. Ooh. Okay. Mr. Handybox. 
Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna guess I can't collect you anything let yet. Codsworth take care of it. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Ooh, this is a nice house. Flag. Good old USA. God bless America. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. Where's my baby? Is this my baby? Is this my baby? Baby! Hello, Mr. Sean. That oh, squishy boy. Ooh. God, you're so tiny. Secret book. What is this? You're special. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Couldn't tell ya. I haven't never played this game. <laughs> Blast radius. Oh, ain't that ironic. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. <laughs> to think one day he's gonna learn how to drive. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. All I know it's gonna happen because it's Fallout. It's called Fallout, so. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna go out here. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Ooh, coffee. Mm. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Weird. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. Plus. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. <laughs> You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Someone so small drinks so much. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Oh, the vault salesman? Yeah, I know about that. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultan. Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. Good morning, Vault Tech calling. Uh, Vault Tech, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters, vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Is that the voice actor for Grandpa Ben from Ben 10? I don't know. Hmm. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir. This country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language. 
the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. My name? I'm gonna stick with the Nate. Nate and Nora. Stick with that. I'm gonna go... Mm. Well, first let's round everything out first. Let's round everything out to like five. I can't round everything out to five. The ability to sneak. There we go. I feel like that's a good start. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> good answer. I have my moments. We have a dog? <sighs> Never gonna find that dog. Has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. What's wrong, tiny person? Are you sad? Oh, there you go. Never mind. He's happy again. <laughs> How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Ooh, the nuke's gonna go off. Are you gonna grab the baby or what? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We oh my god. Do have, we do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Wait, what did he just God. say? God. Codsworth. Sir. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! Oh shit. Oh shit. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. And what do you do if you're not registered? Hold on to Sean!
We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, follow me. God Come help on. Us all. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Hey there. This way. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Well, I'm pretty sure everybody just died up there. That sucks. Been on the list. Should have been on the list. We did it. We made it. We're okay. How far down Everyone, are we? Please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we'd no. all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Hey. Oh my god. What about my old clothes? Over there. Did we not Did keep our old clothes? Just step over to the table. Hey there. Welcome to Vault 111. I'm sure you'll feel one vault signal. Now just head down the hall. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Why do we have to wear vault suits? Uh thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. You all right? Oh, you're gonna love it here. This, this is, is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Hey, it's follow gone. me. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Good fit, don't you think? Just the checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete.
Oh no, out of time. Oh no, what did they do to my wife? No! Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh god! Yeah, she's dead. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Why would Voltaire do this? It was all an experiment in the first place, buddy. Cryopod manual release override. Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? No, I think you're the only one left. Everybody else froze to death. Why am I still? Yeah, that is a great question. Why am I still alive? They all just. Bleed to death? Fault oh, tech monitoring. Oh, there's Robco. Life support. Offline. Premature detonation. Oh, so everybody basically just died. Cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life. So everybody just basically died. I'm gonna guess it's say everybody died. Rick asphyxiation. Yep. So everybody else just suffocated to death. Well, at least they probably didn't know it, right? I mean, they're all cryogenically frozen, so they probably just went in, froze, and then they would never have known. God. There's more? How, wait, how, many, how many people were in this vault? people were in this vault <sighs> what was the experiment to just be cryogenically frozen god why why'd they do this Ooh, new jumpsuit Oh. Time to start looting. Mm, that seems like the way to go. I want to go this way. Malfunction in emergency exit door override. Please contact your vault tech maintenance. Rad roaches. You know, I own one of those, those security batons. I own one. So this Experiment was basically to see how long people can survive while frozen. A bunch of dicks.
Interesting. Stim pack. Right, so I don't get my pit boy until later, do I? Also, ah, the only reason I know anything about this game is because I watch uh, challenge YouTubers play it, so. Mm. Okay, so a one shot. Giant. Roaches? What the hell? Yeah, giant roaches. I doubt there's going to be anything to loot. We never got to our seats. A game. Oh, really? Donkey Kong? I got an achievement. Future Retro. Play a hollow tape game. Damn. Take that with me. Beer bottle. Empty, of course. So that's the recreation, huh? Donkey Kong. Oh, okay. This. What happened here? Where is everyone? Uh, gone, I think. Power attack. Interesting. Ooh, gun. Is this all that's left? Sights are weird. Okay, at least we can aim down sight. Fallout 3, I was told you couldn't aim down sight. What's this? Nice. Coming back later for you. T damn right. Overseer terminal. There we go. Oh, I can melee with the gun now? That's weird. Oh, that is really weird. I can melee with the gun. It's kind of neat, though.
Move slowly. Hmm. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Ah, so I just went around the whole time. Okay. Ah, oh, this is weird. Oh, I can inspect items now? That's sick. How big's the map? Okay, so I'd say maybe slightly bigger than New Vegas. animation Definitely made it more cinematic. Come in, Sean. Yeah. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. 